Hi, my name is Christina, and I'm a Girl Scout in the Silver Sage Council in Idaho. And I am working on my Gold Award project, which is to build self-watering container gardens for elderly uh, to improve their mental health. Today, I am going to show you how to make the self-watering container gardens using five-gallon buckets. And I'd like to thank Shannon Klein at Nothing Monk Cakes and the Fred Meyer store off of Overland here in Meridian for donating buckets to my project. The items that we, you need for this project are two five-gallon buckets, a drill with a quarter-inch bit, quarter-inch bit, a measuring tape, a pair of pliers or ten snips, a marker, four inch piping, and potting soil and whatever type of plant you want to plant. The first thing you're going to do is drill the bottom out. Now you can do this, you do this using a normal drill bit and you drill holes around the middle piece. The holes will go around the center ring. As you can see here, I've marked out where the holes will go. Like this. And then to get, pop the bottom out, you'll take a pair of tin snips like these and just go in between the holes and cut. Like that. Okay, now, there you can see I've cut all but the last hole here. And this is what it and when you Cut the last one, it'll just pop out and you've got a nice hole in the bottom. This is what the bottom of your bucket will look like after you cut the hole out. After you cut the bottom out of the bucket, the next thing you'll need to do is to drill about a dozen holes in the middle of the bottom of the bucket to let air into the soil and the roots. So. drawn the holes where the holes will go. So all you'll do is just take your drill and drill it like that. And this is what it looks like after you've drilled. Now when you drill these be sure to put them at about a half inch away from the bottom of the spacer so that if the water level gets Low, it, the water will still be able to go up to the plant. The next thing you'll need to do is take your spacer, which has the holes drilled into it, and put it in the center of your bottom bucket. And then place the bucket that you drilled the hole, the center out, and drilled holes in the middle of the bucket in on top of that, so that spacer holds the other bucket on top. So the next thing you'll do is take your marker and draw a one inch by two inch box for the hose to go in. So you'll drill holes in it just like the bottom of the other bucket. And then after you drill the holes, you'll take the and cut it out until you hit the very last one. Pops up. All right, so now you're gonna take your spacer and put it in the center of the bottom bucket and fill it with dirt so that it's packed. When you're filling the spacer with 
filter. Don't pack it too tight because it acts as a wick to draw the water up from the reservoir. Mm -hmm. The last step is to take the bucket on the top and put it in the the top on the spacer and put the rest of your dirt or however much dirt you want. There. Then you can just, once you fill it with dirt, not all the way to the top obviously, you will plant your plant. I have a bell pepper here. And then you fill the bottom of your bucket, the reservoir, with water. And that's it.